I'm G sitting on O, son. G sitting on O. Sitting on O, baby. <laughs> My name is Victoria Stilwell and I'm a dog trainer and behavior expert. I also document the lives of first responders. Cheerio! I have such respect for first responders because these are the men and women that go to work every day and put their lives at risk to protect the communities they serve. Paul Corso, Sergeant. Oh, yeah, go for I get paid to play with dogs. It don't get no better than that. My dog's name is Canine Roman. He's from Czechoslovakia. He's a Sable Shepherd. We've been together for about three years now. Very energetic. Yeah, he's, he's more than just a partner. We're with our dog uh, more than our family. Paul Corso is a highly skilled dog handler and an excellent police officer. He's everything that you'd think about a tough cop, but he's also got a very funny side. Paul and Jason themselves have been working together for so long, they just seem to be able to read each other's minds. You know, between the both of us, we have 40 years experience and we both have each other's backs. We are BFF. We've been together for 15 years. We're like Charlie and Brown. Peanut butter and jelly. Well, remember, we're like peas and carrots, remember? Peas and carrots, yeah. My name is Jason Cotton. I am a deputy with the Gwinnett County Sheriff's Department Canine Unit. You can ask somebody, you know, hey, you got drugs in your car or whatever, and, and a lot of times they'll look right at where the drugs are hidden at. Canine Johnny uh, has been my partner since 2008. He is a uh, Czech Shepherd. He was almost 15 months old when we got him. He was kind of our project, uh, meaning he didn't have a whole lot of training. He's with me more than my wife and kids are half the time. He goes to work with me, he comes home with me, he's everywhere with me. You kind of feel naked when he's not there, but sitting behind you or looking over your shoulder. Alex Andes, I'm the camera operator for Guardians of the Night. Nowhere else are there two females that are out with these police canines going through just the crazy day in and day out of their lives. I don't know that you can really respect and appreciate what it's like to be in the law enforcement world until you live in that world with them. When you get a call over the radio, the first thing for me that happens is I listen to the call, I pay attention to what's coming out, and then I start role playing in my head where I need to go, what I need to do, what's going to happen when I get there. So you're kind of laying out this, the scenario as you're responding to the call. It goes from zero to 60 in one second. He's running. This guy they were attempting to arrest, they tried to tase him, and he ran. So now they have the dogs here to see if they can find him. This guy does molly, meth. If we're going to be tracking a dope head or you know, crackhead or whatever you want to call him, good luck. Because they'll run slap out of their shoes. Left or right. We usually put my dog out to do most of the tracking. Normally I'm just watching Johnny. I'm just reading Johnny's body language. We're trying to pick him up by human odor. When the people run, you leave a sit trail and the dogs learn to follow that odor and then with Paul being the trail officer with me he's kind of just confirming what I'm telling him as far as hey I'm on a track Johnny's pulling hard or this or that he'll do different things checking the wind he'll look for hey I got footprints back here in the mud winds coming at us on an angle bro that's how we kind of put it all together the whole picture I think he could be here it was dark and it was raining and it was cold and it, it took a long time and we walked for miles. Yet Johnny was consistent and these guys did not give up. Look, 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 look. Taser probe. All right, he got across here. He crossed right here. And Johnny has just located the taser wire. Now we wouldn't have been able to see that, but as he soon he came to the area, you could see that he started to get really interested. His head went right up. All right, let's see, he climbed over, jumped this, taser, going this way. Remember, because Johnny went up this hill. Yeah, tennis shoe print. Right there. The dog does so much and then relies on the eyes of the hand there as well to find footprints. Went from there to there. And he went up there somewhere. There he followed this trail. The only thing between 
bad guy in us is that dog. And that dog has to be spot on. I ain't got nothing here. And it was only when we got to the subdivision and we knew that he had actually stolen a car that that's where the track had to stop. Are you gonna get him? We're gonna get him. It's a team, it's all of us working together in harmony. Me, Paul, and Johnny working together to find this person. The bond is very strong between these canine handlers and their dogs, but I don't think I was completely aware of just how significantly strong it was until I went to the cemetery with Paul and Jason. It's called the Garden of Honor. These are all the dogs that are in the Atlanta area. These aren't just ours. You always get your radicals that are out there talking, oh, it's just a dog, you know? Who cares, it's just a dog. But they are more to us. People will never understand the combination of having to put my partner down and then to see my kids tore up, that combination. Ah. This one here was my buddy, though. It was good. Very obedient. So I put, he was a true gentleman. So I said, we don't come here very often. <laughs> Bring back too many memories. You just never wish that day would happen. All right, right now we're sitting at a potential location where something that ran on us is stains. We got a pretty good tip that said he's supposed to be at this particular address as he supposedly went to pick up some dope and is coming back to this address. The best way to go. I'm gonna roll a little bit closer just in case this guy tries to fight him again. What room did you come out of? This is what he had on him in the back pocket. He tried to run for us and uh, find himself for a second time. We got it, we got it, we got it, we got it! You can run from us, you just go to jail tired. To be called a guardian of the night, whether they're canine or whether they're human, they all serve and protect the communities they work in. They are some of the most self-sacrificing, kind, caring individuals that would truly take a bullet for a complete stranger. That's just who they are, all of them, every single one of them that I've met, and they do it without expecting anything in return. They all guard us and keep us safe. I feel like it's my duty as a filmmaker to show the general public just how brave these men and women and their dogs are. Anybody that runs, fights, or hides, you know, we're en route to it. There's always a lot of action going on. We get people hiding in the house, we got somebody running, we got somebody fighting with our deputies. See, I'm putting this puzzle together. Yeah, go, go! Yeah.